ndugu mtaendelea ya website yetu technology home site sasa tunaendelea na lecture namba tatu ya SEO tunaendelea na lecture namba tatu ya SEO lecture namba 2 tuliangalia types of SEO tukaona kuna white hat SEO kuna black hat SEO tukaangalia tofauti yake kati ya white hat SEO na black hat SEO kwa ufupi tukaona kwamba white hat SEO kama unahitaji long term investment utatumia white hat SEO kama unahitaji kupata pesa faster utatumia black hat SEO kama utahitaji account yako kuendelea kuwa high tumia white hat SEO kama unahitaji inaweza ikawa band inaweza ikawa index ni penalize based search engine sasa lecture namba 3 tuangalie hizo white hat SEO technique white white hat SEO technique sasa tukianza kuna kuna list tano ambazo ni pop za white hat SEO techniques ziko tano technique ziko tano za white technique ya kwanza wanaangalia good content good content a unique well lighting content make your website appear more trustworthy and valuable to search engines and human visitors kwa hiyo kama unahitaji uweze ku follow under white seo technique unahitaji unahitaji future investment unahitaji investment ya muda mrefu yani kuingizia pesa mpaka kizazi chako kipate hiyo pesa lazima uandike content nzuri a unique content ambazo ni unique za kwako peke yako sio za kukopi kutoka website nyingine za kwako peke yako uandike a unique well written content make your website appear more trustful kwanza tunakuamini kwa sababu umeandika wewe pia tuna vari tuna vari katika kumkumbuka kwa kuwa wewe ndio umeandika kwa hiyo wana vari katika search engine na aina yao wale human visitor it optimizes your website for search engine which help you to get higher ranking on search engine listing as a search engine offer the most appropriate website to the end user for their search for example user aka search kitu flan kama pale nilivyoandika labda aka search kitu labda labda window aka search window 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 shortcut window short shortcut aka search user aka search window shortcut sasa kama kuna content ambayo umeiandika wewe ambayo umeiandika wewe mwenyewe umeiandika vizuri itakuwa ya kwanza kuonekana kwenye list ambayo itakuwa inahusiana na window shortcut. Kwa hiyo ndugu mtazamaji kama unahitaji u fall under white hat SEO uwe na investment lazima uandike good content. Uandike usikopi, uandike wewe mwenyewe. Uandike wewe mwenyewe, uandike vizuri, uweke picha vizuri, vizuri kabisa. Ya pili lazima proper use of title, keywords and meta tag. Keywords, title and meta tag kwenye website yetu nimeelekeza jinsi ya kuandika title ya website jinsi ya kuandika title ya website anasema information contained in html code is known as metadata information zote ambazo zipo kwenye html code zinaitwa metadata it provides the powers the information about the site for qualification and indexing purpose so proper title keyword and meta tag should be in copyrighted in metadata kwa hiyo ndugu mtazamaji tutaangalia hivi vitu vinahusiana na meta tag meta data tutaviona kwa urefu zaidi lakini website yako inabidi iwe na title nzuri isiwe title ndefu ya kuchosha upi afu utumie keyword ambazo zile keyword ambazo zinaleta zina zina zinaleta search results nzuri keyword ambazo unazitumia mara kwa mara ndio uzitumie kama farm jua aina types unabidi uzitumie kwa nini Yaani kama unatumia hizo keywords basi uzitumie na hizi meta tags utaona mbele. Lazima website yako iwe na easy navigation. Yaani mtu aweze kunavigate kutoka kwenye post moja kwenda kwenye post nyingine, akihitaji kutafuta post fulani aweze kuipata kwa urahisi zaidi. Sema search engine also consider the easy navigation while assessing the user flow of your site. Kama una website yako ili Google aweze ku index na wanaangalia navigation ya site yako kama ina navigate vizuri wataweza kuipa higher ranking so avoid the irrelevant links use anniversary recognize links it is not only important for user but also for the core for indexing the site avoid link link ambazo zinaelekeweki weka site yako vizuri 
tumia rangi ambazo ni nzuri. Siwe kama rangi mabaya mabaya. Tumia rangi ambazo ni nzuri. Format website yako vizuri, weka navigation vizuri, weka tabs vizuri, yani onekane vizuri. Utaweza kufollow and write hati sale. Pia wanaangalia site performance, site performance. Site and page performance is another factor considered by search engine to assess the site. Kwa hiyo performance inaangaliwa. Sio site siku inapita hata mtu mmoja ajatembelea. Lazima uangalie site performance. The unavailable sites or the unavailable pages cannot be indexed by crawlers for search engine. A week or even a day of non-performance site or pages can adversely affect the site traffic. So make sure your site load fast is accessible in all time. Kwamba site yako iwe ina load fast. Yaani mtu akifungua ina load fast hata kama sio ambako mtandao ushike vizuri. Mtu akifungua tu ina load na inakuwa accessed in all time. Sasa kufanya site yako iwe ina load fast lazima uzingatie vitu kadhaa kwanza site yako ende kwa isiwe na mambo mengi zile wide gate kama unatumia blogspot lazima isiwe iwe isiwe na wide gate nyingi sana isiwe na link nyingi sana ambazo ni za external website yani iwe na vitu vichache ni professional kwa hiyo unaangalia site performance site yako lazima iwe na load fast pia kuna template ambazo zinafanya blog yako iweze ku load fast as you can download za download ikienda kwenye go app by template sector spot quality inbound links the site must have quality inbound link as a search engine regularly assess back link for their relevance kwa hiyo sa quality zile nani content zako lazima ziwe na link zake zime quality if the site is found to have irrelevant back link it will be dis discounted au penalized by search engine. Hapa sasa wanakuja kwa wale watu ambao wana copy. Wana copy, wana copy, wana copy content kutoka kwenye website nyingine na kuta content mle mtu ame insect, ame insect link, ame insect link flani. Na yeye ana copy anakuja kuweka kwenye website yake bila kuondoa ile link, bila kuondoa ile link. Sasa search engine hawataki hicho kitu hawataki hizo backlink irrelevant backlink ya wazitaki wanataka link yako we mwenyewe ndio iwepo katika content link yako kwa mfano mfano a website about farming in india contain a number of links from european website about technology will be this degraded by search engine sasa ndugu mtanzania au kenya au uganda au malawi au au tunia saruga ya kiswahili sasa Unakuta mtu website yake iko TZ lakini unakuta ndani kuna link za mtu ambaye yuko Europe, za mtu ambaye yuko India ziko mle ndani katika content. Sasa hapo wana ignore moja kwa moja hawezi kuweka katika search engine hiyo content. Hawezi kuiweka, hawezi kuirank. Kwa hiyo tumia link zako mwenyewe za website hata kama ume copy. Edit all. Nenda web to web edit all then put it katika website yako hiyo ilikuwa ni white hat sale kama unahitaji kufanya investment ya muda mrefu tumia hizi hizi technique ziko tano pia kama unahitaji kupata pesa faster tumia hii black hat sale technique tumia black hat sale technique ambao unasema keyword stuffing search engine analyze the keywords and the key phrases on web page to index the website to exploit this feature of the search engine some SEO platforms increase keyword density to get higher ranking which is considered a black hat SEO technique keyword density between 2 2 to 4% is considered optimal increasing the keyword density beyond that will irritate your readers and affect your ranking kwa hiyo hapa mtu anatumia keyword nyingi anatumia keyword nyingi ambazo wanahitaji ziwe 2 to 4% 2 to 4% ambazo zinakuwa ni optimal lakini uki increase beyond z keyword density utawachosha nini wasomaji na ita effect nini link yako kwa hiyo hapa kama unahitaji ufuru upate pesa faster tumia keyword nyingi kwenye website yako tumia keywords nyingi tutakuta wewe kwamba what is keywords tutakuja kuangalia ni maneno ambayo yana yanaokaa mara nyingi sana kwenye content zako ni maneno ambayo unatumia mara nyingi sana kwenye content zako 
ndipo ambao kuna tokoo ya weke kwenye tags kama keywords njia ya pili ni clocking it refer to the coding web page in such a way that search engine see one set of content and visitor see another set of content mfano user search for gold price click on search result click on search result current gold price and is written in when they travel and the tourism site this practice is not in accordance with search engine guidelines which say to create content for user not for search engine sasa hapa wale wataalamu wa kodi wanatumia kodi kuweza kuchanganya hizi search engine search engine wanaona wanaona kama gold price lakini uki click unaona current gold plus kwa hiyo inahitaji na search engine lakini kama unahitaji kupata pesa nyingi kwa muda mfupi tumia hii trick tumia hii trick ya clocking kama unahitaji kujua zaidi unaweza ukaingia google uka search clocking technique utapata jinsi ya kufanya pia namba tatu hidden text the text which search engine can view but reader can't is known as hidden text kwa kuna text fulani ambayo search engine inaona lakini wewe user huwezi kuona. This technique is used to incorporate relevant keywords in the high text or link to increase keyword density or improve internal link structure. Some of the way to high text are to set the font size to zero. Una set font size to zero. Una use CSS to set text off screen. Una create white text on white background etc. Kwa hiyo hapa technique kama unataka kuijua utai search Google hidden text kwamba unatengeneza text ambayo search engine peke yake itakuwa inaona lakini user hawezi kuona ili kuwa kuweza kutumia keywords nyingi ili kuweza kupata nini haya rangi kupata pesa faster kuna no way pages the poor written page which are rich in keywords but do not contain information and focus on link to redirect user to or related page account the way in pages the other way pages kwamba hiyo page inakuwa na keywords tu inakuwa na ma keyword tu ambayo ameenda kuyaweka kwenye meta tag yake na kuwa na keyword nyingi kwa hiyo badala ya ku hiyo content kuwa na zile zile information ambazo zinaendana na ile link zinakuwa tu zina keywords ambapo mara nyingi unakuta kuna kuwa na kuna link to redirect the user to an unrelated page kwamba link zinampeleka kwenye page ambayo haitakiwi haitakiwi yani unaingia kwenye page hiyo unataka kitu fulani unashangaa unakuwa na link inakupeleka kwenye page nyingine this page are used by black hat seo professionals to pass on user traffic to related link site hii inatokea sana wabongo wengi wanalalamika anaingia kwenye page hiyo anataka download music inamwambia click here ana click hapo unampeleka kwenye page nyingine anaambiwa click here tena anazungushwa tu mwisho wa siku hawezi ku download page ku download kitu ambacho anakitaji sasa hiyo ni technique hiyo inaitwa black hat seo kama hujaisikia hiyo ni technique sio virus wengi ambao wanatumia smartphone wanasemaga ni virus lakini sio virus hiyo ni technique no way pages hiyo ni technique technique ya tano anasema articles pine it involves writing a single article to produce its different copies in such a way that each copy look a new article kwamba kuna kuwa na article yoyo moja lakini jinsi wanavyoiandika wanavyoiandika na wanaifanya nini wanai copy lakini inaonekana kama ni article mpya lakini kumbe ni article ile ile the content of such article is repetitive poorly written yani yaandikwe vizuri has low value value yake ni ndogo has low value value yake ni ndogo for the visitor in this technique such article are regularly uploaded to create the illusion for fashion article unakuta article zimejirudia rudia lakini ukiangalia article unaona kama mpya kumbe ni ile ile hiyo njia wanaitumia sana kwa increase ni ranking kwa google wanaona kama ni article mpya hizi bing zinaona kama ni article mpya kumbe ni article ile ile kwa hiyo wanaitumia sana kuongeza ni traffic nyingine wanasema duplicated duplicate content sasa hii wabongo ndio ina ina wahusu sana ina wahusu sana the content copied from a website to publish it on another website as original content is known as duplicate content this is a black hat seo technique known as plagiarism sasa kama ndugu yangu una tabia ya kukopi kitu kutoka kwenye website nyingine na kukikopi kukipaste kama kilivyo kwenye website yako hiyo kabisa unatumia 
black heart cell technique ku increase traffic zako unatumia black heart technique ku increase tiki na utapata pesa faster lakini sio for future utakuwa penalized na google utakuwa penalized kwa hiyo usitumie hiyo njia kama unahitaji follow and white kama website yako ni for 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 future kwa hiyo ndugu yangu au ndugu mwana technology unatakiwa uchague moja chagua moja unatakiwa uselect moja chagua moja either ulai and white white at sale au ulai and black black at sale usiwe vugugu usiwe sehemu zote usiwe sehemu zote chagua sehemu moja kama unahitaji kupata pesa faster ile website yako ikafungwa ikawa banned by au search engine wasiweze kuindex tena tumia black kama unahitaji for future tumia white hat sale kwa chagua moja usitumie zote chagua moja chagua moja ya kutumia chagua moja kutumia kutokana na jinsi nilivyoelezea mbele kwa hiyo huu mwisho wa lecture number 3 kaa tayari kwa ajili ya lecture number 3 ambayo tutaangalia how search engine work Search engine zinafanyaje kazi? Tutaangalia katika lecture namba 3. Usisahau kutembelea katika website yetu. Usisahau kutembelea katika website yetu ambayo nasema technology home site dot blogspot dot com kupata makala nyingi, nyingi sana ambazo zinahusiana na hii topic. Na pale utapata kitabu ambacho kinahusiana na hii topic hii ya SEO, kitabu hicho kina MB7, i download utapitia kama reference. Asante.